DJ Pro Hidden Features. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this iPad DJ tutorial, I'm going to show you guys all the hidden features and the really cool settings that you could do and just go really deep into finding out what this app could do. I've been using this app for over like six or seven years and I also read the whole user manual. So a, a quick feature is that there's actually a full user manual inside the app. So if you go over here, press the middle button, go to settings and you scroll all the way down, you will get to user manual. So it starts with the table of contents and if there's something you wanna know, like if you wanted to know something about the library, you go to 4.6.3 and it tells you everything you, everything in the app. It goes really deep into telling you what this app is really capable of. It takes a while and it's, it can be kind of boring. It's 122 pages. But I suggest, would definitely recommend reading it at least once. My favorite hidden feature in DJ Pro is the, the scratching feature. If you use more than one finger on the jog wheel or the waveform, it will move the crossfader back and forth, making it sound like you're a, a really fast scratcher and you can do some really cool effects with that. I made other videos on scratching, I'll leave links to it, but we're gonna move on to the next. The next hidden feature is that you can have a full mixer in classic mode. So to access this, you press the mixer button over here and it brings up this limited mixer. This is how the app originally was released. So on this screen, you just had the volumes the gain and then the filters but if you press this eq button down here now you have a full mixer and you have the volume controls so the volume controls are over here and then it also shows you um the beat levels so you can see your levels have control of the volume and have a full eq I was really happy when I found this out. I think I found it out by accident after one of the updates, but every time I'm using this screen, I hit the EQ button to access that full EQ. Another great hidden feature is that you could actually edit the beat grid. So sometimes if you're playing like rock music or different type of music that's not EDM or hip hop, the um, automatic beat grid that's generated through the app might be a little bit off so in order to adjust it you go over here there's a little like pencil it's hard to see it's like a pencil marker and you could click set the beat grid or if you're in two deck mode it's over there too it's right by the beat grid so we're gonna click the pencil and then set beat grid and now wherever you choose in the song, like whichever beat you choose, like we'll choose this one, you go over here, and then you could set the beat grid. So now where you set it is gonna be the beginning of the four bars. So if you're ever trying to mix a song or and the mix isn't going through, even though you have it on sync and according to the waveforms it's lined up, try adjusting the beat grid. This has helped me in so many ways great hidden feature that I use every time I DJ with the iPad is the crossfader cutting mode. So if you just tap your finger in the middle of the crossfader, it'll automatically cut it on or off. So this is great if you want to like do really fast cuts and it also makes doing the chirp scratch possible. So if we go over the classic mode and we got we got our scratch sample. If you just normally have the crossfader in the middle, the only scratch you could do is really the baby scratch. So it sounds like this, which is really cool and you could do a lot of stuff. But now if you have the crossfader to the left and then you use the crossfader cutting mode, you could do the chirp scratch like this. So I'm gonna do two baby scratches then a chirp scratch. So that chirp sound is when you cut the crossfader off at the exact same time as you move the scratch sample. 
And if you're just using your finger on the iPad with the touch screen, it could be really difficult. Also, you could use this feature if you wanna like cut in the other song playing. So song playing on the right, you don't hear anything. And now if you just, and you can make really cool effects with that. And then also a little, another bonus um, tip with the crossfader is if you tap the arrow, it'll do a slow crossfader blend. So, which is a great a beginner transition or if you don't want to do anything fancy and, you, and you're a little bit busy trying to find the next song, you just press it like this and it will slowly mix it into the next song, providing a nice smooth transition. Another really cool hidden feature that I don't think people use enough is if you hold your finger on the, lo the song select button, you have the option to, to press double. So what this does is it loads the song on one deck. If you have a song on deck A and press double, it'll load it onto deck B. So uh, this is something that old school DJs used to do. They would get two copies of the same record and then they would like cut back and forth and make their own melodies and like only play the good part of the song. But us as modern DJs using the iPad could do so many creative things with this and also things to just help you make sure that your mix is good. So the first thing you could do with doubled is you could have the songs playing at slightly different spots and then put it on sync set it back a couple bars and make it sound like an echoing effect and also what I use this for is if you're DJing and somebody gives you a, a request a song that you don't usually play that much that you don't have it organized with the cue points and stuff if you want to know how the song ends, what you could do is on the deck that you have it doubled, listen to that deck on your headphones and you go, oh, it ends, it has vocals, I have to mix it differently, or it ends with some drums, and you know exactly how the song ends, and then you could find the song that will mix in with that ending. So if you never used the doubling feature before, I definitely suggest you check it out. There's a lot of stuff you could do with it. For watching guys, there's a lot more hidden features that I could go over with you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and subscribe to this channel. All of these features, I go into detail in separate videos, like the separate scratching videos and then the, the library videos. So anything that you guys need to know about DJ Pro and how to navigate through the app, I would uh, be glad to explain to you guys and subscribe to the channel for all the great content on DJing with the iPad. Thank you.